Hello. Let's talk about this week's homework. This is question one. The worksheet for Bridget's office supplies contains the following revenue, cost, and expense accounts. Prepare a classified income statement for this firm for the year ended December 31, 2021. The merchandise inventory amounted to $58,075 on January 1, 2021 and $51,025 on December 31, 2021. The expense accounts numbered 611 through 617 represent selling expenses and those numbered 631 through 646 represent general and administrative expenses. So looking at the list of accounts, the list starts off with sales for $244,200 and sales returns for $4,180. Those are the first two accounts we need to enter on our income statement. Let's do that now. There you have it, sales $244,200 minus sales returns and allowances of $4,180 equal net sales $240,020. Next is cost of goods sold. This section begins with the merchandise inventory as of January 1st, then we add purchases and freight into arrive and delivered cost of purchases. We then subtract purchases returns and allowances and purchases discounts for net delivered cost of purchases. Finally, once we subtract the merchandise inventory as of December 31st, we arrive at the cost of goods sold. Net sales minus cost of goods sold is gross profit on sales. What is left to do? Sort the expenses by selling expenses which are account 611 to 617 in general and administrative expenses which are numbered 631 to 646. This is question 2 and there is a lot of information here for Bridget Office Supplies. Most of it you won't need to complete the balance sheet. We have all of the balance sheet accounts listed here as well as the owner's equity accounts and we have the net income. So, let's get started. We start with the asset side of the balance sheet and enter the current assets of cash for $8,805 and the change fund of $410. Next, we'll enter the accounts receivable and subtract the allowance for doubtful accounts. Hope this gives you a good start. Finally, here is question number three for this income statement and we need to record the closing entries. Do you recall how to do that? The first entry closes all credit balances to income summary, the second entry closes all debit entries to income summary, the third entry closes the drawing account to capital and the fourth one closes income summary to capital. To give you a good start, I've added here the first journal entry. That's it for this week's homework video. Please remember to use the check my work feature and that you have three attempts on every homework. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.